Hello dear friends, this is Anwar Ali from Technocademia and in this tutorial I am going to talk about the GDPR privacy message in our AdSense uh, account, how to enable that privacy message to the users if a user is visiting our website, our content, then uh, Google uh, AdSense will uh, show a pop-up notification, a prompt to uh, ask users for their data and to tell users which type of data we will collecting and which type of data we are uh, using and what is the purpose of uh, that collection and how we collect that data uh, of the users and for what purpose it will be used so um, uh, let's talk let's talk a brief about what is the gdpr it's uh, stand for general data protection regulation it's a european law european regulation implemented in 2018 to enhance european citizens control over the personal data that companies can legally hold you can understand that uh, this is a european law and uh, european uh, human rights organization and uh, the human rights organization all over the world uh, included this as a law and uh, their, uh, their framework um, that companies requires a specific process and companies should uh, ask for the consent of the data that they can hold from a user if a user gave the consent to you if a user gave the consent to the company that they can hold that specific data then uh, it will be great because if we are collecting uh, uh, any data without the consent of the users then it's uh, the violation of uh, the GDPR the general data protection regulation acronym and Google as well and the GDPR and the European uh, Society and the Human Rights Society as well can put a penalty on us and a user can also uh, file a case against us so <laughs> to be uh, more safe to be more preventive in our actions we should enable that uh, gdpr privacy policy option a privacy policy notification in our adsense to ask for consent from the users and to tell the users that what type of data we are collecting how we collect the data and how we use that data for what purposes we were using the data and and your privacy policy of your website you should clearly mention those things you should focus on those things and you can also uh, generate uh, that privacy policy through a chat gpt and through any mm, privacy policy generating tools but I will recommend ChatGPT because it's an uh, uh, AI tool and it's a great tool. It's uh, having lots of information and collecting the information from all over the internet. So uh, if you are using ChatGPT or if you don't have ChatGPT, then it's a great tool. Uh, I have uh, another video uh, on ChatGPT. Uh, I, I had uploaded already that video. I'll give the link in the description. and. Uh, you can create a, a chat GPT account from uh, that video and just you can generate your privacy policy here from that tool as well and here we are going to enable the GDPR consent message okay and let's go uh, here it's my ads on dashboard it's a home ad soils and privacy and message the fourth option we will just click on that <coughs> sorry 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 uh, it's it's just giving a privacy and messaging and, and another thing that you, you, the message is on and the message is up okay but we are going to the ads and from the auto ads section I had already the uh, I had uh, disabled the auto ads and I'm I had already mentioned the reasons for disability of the auto ads uh, in my previous video I if you watch that video then you will understand why I off the key I keep this address off 
just to like here and here we can see a privacy message right in the right corner top right corner mm, below the send feedback option we have privacy message when I click here's a GDPR consent message if we enable it then it will demand us that privacy policy URL or website privacy policy URL if uh, you had already enabled then you will see like this if you don't have if you don't have it then you can write a privacy policy page and then go to that page copy the URL and just put here and that consent terminate option it will ask you for the consent of the users that our website then surefit.com that it's my blog and uh, it will mm, ask from user that we are using your personal data okay and user will do consent or it will manage option or here we can uh, get three options consent do not consent or manage options so user have the option to mm, give us permission or mm, reject our consent form or they can manage an option like partially uh, allow us or like which data they want to allow or, uh, and which data they don't want to allow and here is the another cpra privacy message show opt out message to users for the california privacy rights act as also a law okay and you should enable this option as well and google will show them uh, things like the same do not sell or share my personal data okay here a user can just click this option and and uh, and you will receive a notification that the user just send you an option to do not sell I share my personal information so you we don't have the right to sell or share the personal information of the users if you do that mm, then you have the right under the CPRA privacy message CPRA mm, privacy it's a California Privacy Rights Act so a user have the right to file an appeal against you so you should give them enable and just go and apply to my site okay you can apply to your site just hide show and you can just here from here you can apply to your site and mm, your site will enable to appear the privacy policy message that's all i hope you are finding it helpful if you have any difficulty uh, in applying these solutions or technical solutions then you can ask in our comment box or contact us through the recommended ways thank you for watching